I want to turn to um, uh, MSNBC and what's been happening over the weekend, a kind of meltdown on MSNBC around the issue of Bernie Sanders uh, clearly looking like he's the front runner. And chief among those melting down appears to be MSNBC host Chris Matthews, who this weekend compared Senator Sanders' Nevada victory to Nazi Germany's takeover of France. I'm reading last night about the fall of France in the summer of 1940, and the general, Renault, calls up Churchill and says, it's over. And Churchill says, how can it be? You've got the greatest army in Europe. How can it be over? He said, it's over. So I had that suppressed feeling, I can't be as wild as Carville, but he is damn smart, and I think he's damn right on this one. So Bernie Sanders communications director, Mike Casca, responded to Matthew's comment on Twitter saying, quote, never thought part of my job would be pleading with a national news network to stop likening the campaign of a Jewish presidential candidate whose family was wiped out by the Nazis to the Third Reich. But here we are. Well, I think politics is shifting and the, the centrists are having to discover that they are centrists because the politics has moved to the left. That's what Bernie has accomplished. That's what the young people around him have accomplished. It may be awkward and uncomfortable for people who used to think of themselves as the left to discover they're not, that there's a movement to their left. But we're very proud that that has returned as a kind of sanity of balance in our political discourse. And so I'm not surprised that people like Matthews overreact because they're being outflanked on the left. They weren't ready for it. I remember in 2016 talking to a high official of the Democratic Party, assuring me that Bernie Sanders would never get more than one or two percent of any vote anywhere ever. And they didn't know and they didn't understand. And it's a little bit like the old Bob Dylan song, you know, uh, wake up. There's things going on that you didn't foresee and that are shifting the ground on which you stand. But I want to be clear that many of us welcome this. I mean, Chris Matthews has been on a tear. Um, he recently said, um, I remember the Cold War. I have an attitude toward Fidel Castro. He added, I believe if Castro and the Reds had won the Cold War, there would have been executions in Central Park and I might have been one of the ones executed and certain other people would be there cheering suggesting, as he was talking about Bernie Sanders, that Bernie Sanders would be responsible for his execution in Central Park. Yeah. For me, this is all that I hear in all of this is an anguished fear that the politics is moving to the left. These are individuals who made a commitment long ago in their lives not to go to the left, even if they had sympathies there, to stay in the middle because it was the safe, the wise thing for their future, for the country, and for their careers. And that's no longer the case, and they are outraged and outcome these kinds of comments.